shit, to movie quote. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Who's got a movie quote to guess? What movie quote can you think of? I, I have fuck one. redemption, fuck damnation. We are gods and one of children, so be it. Okay, what's your quote? <laughs> 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 in time you will know what it is like <laughs> 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 uh, my one is my one is gonna be a tough one i don't think anyone's gonna get it but okay. i'm gonna do it and the quote is are you my best friend <laughs> oh my but nobody will get it you know. that's cool. uh, good luck if you get that one hmm. kazam yeah. nah oh. kazam wow <laughs> <laughs> what's kazam shack yeah. It's obviously nah. the room. Jeez. <laughs> 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 no, 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 that would have been a dope one. Uh, cool, cool. So, uh, welcome. What, what, what can I say? I'm trying to. Uh, I need to know that I'm still going to Ah, it's late now. <laughs> <laughs> it's late now. You must, <laughs> you must actually have them in beforehand and say, Yeah, we must. This we must. is yeah. it right here. <laughs> cool. So, welcome to another episode of um, Reviews on Tab, episode three. Right? Cool, 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 cool. And today, we're going to be talking about. The credibility of film critics hey. in this day and age. Hey. Because I'm, I'm seeing a lot of film critics take a lot of L's, bro, and get a <laughs> lot of things wrong. Yeah. And, um, and I think social media plays a huge part in this, actually. Um, I remember when I was in varsity, Rotten Tomatoes was like the guys. If you go to Rotten Tomatoes, you'll get a rating, tell you how the movie is. Now people don't even care. Even if it's like 30, 30% on Rotten Tomatoes, like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go watch it. Mm, yeah. uh, I want to see for myself. We, they're losing uh, a lot of trust, basically. And why do you think that is? The, okay. Before we actually proceed, can I just... Is there a difference? I think there is. Is there a difference between film critics and movie reviewers? Uh, um, okay. Is there? Tricky. And I think there is. And here's why. I don't consider myself a film critic. <laughs> Me yeah. too. Don't, jack don't let that. F- don't let the shows fool you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah, 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 yeah. jack shit about <laughs> critiquing film. I do, <clears throat> but I don't practice it. Sure. Uh, I just I'm more of consume, observe, and then interpret in my way and how the movie made me feel and my own opinion. Mm. So I review movies, but I don't specifically critique films. I don't think we consider ourselves that so i i, mm. I first want to mention that so we can know which yeah. page we're on because someone might be watching and be like wait aren't you guys film critics um no okay, we are you? not <laughs> maybe maybe i think i think a film i think a film reviewer is allowed to be a fan and maybe yeah. a film critic almost is not allowed to be a fan everything has to be emotionless it just has to be a full critique of the movie yeah. Yeah. and they could come off as more negative in if that is the case because a, a film reviewer like my favorite film reviewers like jeremy jans i yeah, think he's jeremy amazing jeremy, yeah, yeah, but yeah. he's a fan he reviews yeah. as a fan he's like man i liked it. the movie was shit but it was so much fun you know yeah. like he, you know but a film critic can't say stuff like that he has to kind of like criticize the film on a very critical level he has to get um, all um, um yeah. whoever whoever has brought us once again a mockery of you know the era of the whatever <laughs> you know what putting shame on <laughs> the struggles of yeah, yeah. He's ah. using the, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think maybe that'd be the difference. But pe- but what I'm saying is that they're losing a lot of trust with with fans. People don't, they don't really people don't really care about film critics anymore. Yeah. Do you yeah. know? Uh, we can make an example. Do you know in Birdman, uh, there's that lady who tells Re- Regan Thompson. I forgot his fucking name. Mm-hmm. Um, she tells him that people like you are the reason why theater is dying. You there's a stage that you're using that could have been used for more effective work. You know what? Fuck you! I'm gonna kill your play or something like that. And uh, I think <coughs> generally, in terms of my um, uh, attitude towards critics, is that sometimes it's also gender based. So Ian King and it's also gender based. It's not just oh, wait, a so, person. So you're saying agenda. Now think about it. Not gender based. No, no, no. Agenda. Agenda. Yeah, okay. Agenda. Agenda. Agenda based. Agenda based. <laughs> yeah, agenda based. Yeah, but like yeah, yeah, the cool. thing is, most of the time, most people will go into a movie already having a negative opinion on it. Like, for example, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm guilty of it. Like, like I said, I'm not a critic, but like, I'm, I'm guilty of it. Like, generally, if someone was to like, you know, asobu gutala piri already mangyara, I'm like, okay, I'm going because fairly I was invited and it's probably for free, but I know that I'm not going to enjoy it. Expecting for it to be shit. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, agenda is one of those things that is, is it that, 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 that concerns me in terms of the whole, the world of film criticism and other things, man, laziness. Like, the thing is, 
in terms of criticism for me, no, what I feel is that a lot of professional critics, people get paid to talk about movies and shit, they, they have agendas, um, basically, in terms of how they're going to approach a movie. If a movie is going to be directed by a certain somebody, which I guess is not a bad thing because the movie industry is a fucked up place. There's a lot of people who are getting gigs and they're like pieces of shit. So I would also have an agenda against the likes of Brian Singer, the likes of... Um, what, what what's the guy named the pianist guy, the guy who ran away to Italy after he was accused Roman of Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I would understand, but like in in general, in terms of wow, in no way am I justifying the people that I just mentioned. But what I'm saying is generally in terms of the 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 job, the yeah, the job itself in terms of film criticism, yeah. if opinions are going to be swayed because of certain things or because of how I feel personally against someone. Doesn't that kind of just hurt the job itself? I don't know. It's one of those things. And also, general, in terms of um, the way people look at movies as more, there's this laziness about it. People aren't even trying to look, understand, or try to get what was trying to be said about a movie. They'll just look at a movie, like, for example, I can watch The Wife right now and say, it's just big eyes, but with Glenn Close mm. instead of Amy Adams. So, yeah, well, and, and no one watches what did I really slate. say? Hmm? No one watches with, like, a clean slate. Yeah. And be like, I'm just going to judge it according to what this movie is. Yeah. So, yeah, we are compared, but what did you think about this movie? Mm. But you never, no one ever says that. People will say, hey, Black Panther was Lion King and Mission Impossible and <laughs> blah, 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 and Captain America went to Soldier. Like, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, but what do you think of it? Yeah. You know, that's actually a thing. I don't know whether it is the proper t- proper term to call it, but the um, reduction culture where you take something that is obviously has some similarities to something else, but sure. then you just reduce it, literally ignoring everything, and it's it's usually done blatantly and intentionally yeah. to make fun at something or but as a homage it, or something. Yeah, yeah. But but what's this? No, by the person who's actually giving commentary. On oh, it. oh oh oh. But then yeah. it oh usually ov- obviously always goes beyond that. So whenever you don't feel or you don't like something, no matter how good or bad it was, no matter how multi layered it may have been, sure. And more intricate than that, people all will always just nowadays, especially on the internet, they sure. will always just take something that is obviously not just that. But just reduce it to the oh, Black Panther was just <coughs> Lion King, Lion King, mm. and mm. blah 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 blah. This movie was just this movie with that. In most cases, it does happen in film where yeah. you can see it was okay. No, this movie is literally Black just Opera. copied, mm. the copy the other movie. Mm. But there's also that culture also yeah. of people in general who just do that. And you you mentioned something, Uguti, um, um, what's this when it comes to film critics in the film industry specifically? And I just wanted to, we may not talk about it right now, 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 but before the end of this conversation, do you guys believe in shields? What? Like, shields, how? Like, in the, in the case of film critics. Sure. Do you believe, like, there are people who are either reputable critics or yeah, well, normal status critics who are bought by certain corporations to give their movies good reviews and trash the other opposition of course um, marvel or disney shells who always praise marvel it. movies but then yeah definitely um Dude. i think I, I i think it's naive to think that everything that happens in the film industry is based on merit mm. that's kind of silly so yeah. um if for example oscars are rigged for example to to like a certain type of movie surely then critics are rigged Always to 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 cape for a certain movie. So, um, I do believe that that people are can be bought, that there are agendas put at play. I mean, I do believe that, and I think that's why critics are losing credibility because social media is disrupting that whole thing. Yeah, because yeah. normal people are like, but I liked it, yeah. and then yeah. everyone, will, and then yeah. another guy will be like, yeah, me too. Okay, well, fuck yeah. that guy. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? All of a sudden, that critic doesn't mean anything to them because like, okay, I, I kind of like this, so you're kind of wrong. So now every time he critiques a movie, you're like, hey, but the last time he critiqued, you are wrong. So. Yeah. Actually, fuck this guy. Let's go check this. Now mm-hmm. we all critics, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it kind of is disrupting that whole thing that we were sure. like, this movie's kind of dope. I don't know what you guys are on about. So, so um, yeah. To answer your question, yeah, it is definitely rigged. There is yeah. some. There are people who who are shields for and for certain film. Yeah. And what you just mentioned right now is, um, I was at the screening of So They Went Into My Skin, and when I was walking in, there were these other. This guy was talking to this lady, and I think they in t- they journalists. 
and they were mentioning how film criticism has basically died thanks to the internet age and <laughs> stuff like that. I mean, I can understand the cry, but it, at the same time, it's almost like, well, what must happen? Adapt, mm. adapt, adapt, dude. Yeah. Things adapt. are changing. Things are different. Yeah. Adapt. Find a way to and still be relevant. This in, guy was in mentioning. I'm, I'm not going to mention his name mostly because I don't know his name. Mm. But this guy was he was going on and on about how back in the days, uh, newspapers used to have sections. There used to be an entire art scene. We're like, I get that, and that's dope. I mean, like, and then he was mentioning how. Uh, most of this uh, now newspapers are almost like almost always they they hire one or two journalists sure. and that journalist has to cover everything or most things mm. and and I mean I get in terms of quality I get that and yeah. you can't you can there are people who can do that who can um, what's cover this different critique music film art, art in general mm. and also maybe write other thing pieces and stuff like that but it's not everybody and I get from his perspective why he was crying about that sure but also at the same time like we're saying. Times. So that, dude. Um, uh, dude, uh, back uh, in the day there was a party. They say, things are different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that and apartheid benefited certain people. Yeah, and now exactly. Be benefited. My thing is that um, if 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 social media kills film critics, what's up? What's what? Then what? Like, um, w- w- films can still carry on without film critics. So film critics are in a very difficult place. Yeah. Yeah. They must find find us. I don't know. Hold up a light, find boom, something. boom, mic, yeah. find a job. <laughs> <laughs> but but there is a market of people who want to see the review before watching the movie. But seeing a review before watching the movie is a privilege. It's not like I'm, it's not like gonna be like there's no more film reviews. Okay, I'm not watching any movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you're still gonna go and you're still gonna wake up and go watch a movie. Yeah. Sure. So if be, being able to have a reviewer tell you about a movie before it drops is a privilege. Yeah. And if you lose that privilege, it's not like all you of a sudden gonna watch fuck the movie, movies. Yeah. You know, you're yeah. gonna you're, you're still, still gonna, gonna go and take that initiative. Oh, the trailer was dope. The poster looks dope. Okay, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm watching. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a risk and watch it. And you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, exactly. But then, um, like you actually mentioned that he wasn't even speaking about in general getting an opinion before go because he was complaining yeah. about how nowadays, thanks to social media, yeah. a person can just go watch a movie, or go watch a screening, and then they'll post their opinion, and then it's like a friend thing. And I'm like, I think actually, I prefer that. Mm. Like you will now most likely listen to your friend's opinion of a sure, movie sure, yeah. sure. an actual person yes. or yeah. has to say. Yep. and i mean i i do know my friend more than i know the film the critic, critic sure. so i know if my friend says they the, oh man batman versus superman was amazing yeah yeah my oh, friend likes batman versus ba- likes dc in any case so it probably was amazing but i should take it with a grain of salt type of sure sure, 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 sure. yeah so it, it it it's it's more relatable when it's coming from someone you already know or someone you closer to yeah i think that's why we watch because he, he wasn't he wasn't just complaining about yeah the act of reviewing movies yeah. regardless of the platform he was specifically rec- complaining about film critique critique or criticism versus movie reviewers on the oh, internet okay. people yeah. who think yeah. they're film critics sure, on twitter yeah, yeah. and social media giving their opinions on movies they've watched and influencers basically yeah. and stuff like that but yeah. now let's think about this way especially limezans in south africa um we've noticed um especially when you go to abu uip yeah Okay. When yeah, you yeah. go to your IP and I was talking ago that the people that we are amongst are mostly Abelu. And these are people who've been doing this shit for twenty years. Uh, we've yeah, been I've been yeah. in this business. And now if you think about a certain example, um a movie <laughs> that we, we, we we're gonna we, we talk about this movie a lot because it's a it's a breakthrough for local anyway. Yeah. Um Kahiso's movie, Madrid. Yeah. By the way, um oh shit man, R. I. P. so What the fuck was that? Yeah, was it's like what the fuck is wrong with people? That was crazy, actually. Yeah, no, that's sad. I'm yeah. actually pissed off about that shit. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is, look at look at a movie like that, and look at um, the the audience it's selling itself to, and then a movie like that being watched by professional critics of a certain, um, yeah, who've been doing this shit for twenty years. Yeah. They wanna. I'll be just be about it. They won't understand they, it. They and didn't. Not even they. Yeah, they, they didn't. didn't. We we've have we have we actually heard one yeah. of the person have an opinion about it, and the things that he said it was like, okay, yeah, say goes are fair, but like, <laughs> it's not for you. You're wrong. Mm. It's Cause not for you. Because besides besides it not being for you, you're wrong. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just to we won't mention names because uh, we don't remember the person's name. Also, yeah. just to protect his identity, mm. but he's one of the people. He's a freelance um, journalist and film critique. Yeah. here in South Africa has been doing this for years, years uh, this type of situation <laughs> he's an old man respects his opinion and everything but yeah whatever <laughs> um, so after Spy and I went to uh, the screening of Ima Dueto and we came out after that we psyched because I wasn't even looking forward to the movie but I was I was like wow I, I was blown away yeah. anyways fast forward to later on in the day I come across this guy 
um, this. I'm just gonna call him the this um, this uh, guy. elderly citizen, or John Doe. Guy? Yeah, <laughs> John Doe. John Doe. So I come across <laughs> John Doe later on in the day, and he's like, I'm at another screening for another movie, and he's like, he literally walks up to me. First time he actually ever spoke to me because we've been to screenings together for quite a while. But mm. first time he walks up to me and he's like. Hey, how you were at the screening for that movie? I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah. How do you find it? And as I was explaining, it was, oh yeah, and I'm you know going <laughs> off, and then he's like, I swear to God, I'm not making this up. He said, yeah, but I thought, I felt like that sex scene. I'm like, what? I, I could, couldn't even remember of all the, the sex things. Scene in yeah, movie. that's the one he's thing. Like, that I felt like they could have shown more flesh. I'm like, the fuck? what? Yeah, I need to be able to enjoy seeing. Black people but that's a weird critique, it's, it man. It was yeah. so weird. It, it was strange as critique, and my friend. And we both just... Oh. We just <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> picking at straws, bro, like at this he point. Like, yeah. I feel like you could have shown us more. And, I was like, and like then my no. friend was like, yeah, but I don't think that's what the movie that was. was the, yeah, That, that was wasn't the intention yeah. of the scene itself, the scene. even. Yeah. When we... Like, how I interpreted the scene was, I felt like he was actually making fun because of how it was even shot. Mm. Yeah. It was a setup for the whole thing. The uh, yeah, 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 it wasn't necessarily made to be a sex scene yeah. for you to... It to was enjoy. To, yeah, it was made to be over the top unnecessarily. So, and then we just we were just shocked. We were like, wait, what happened? And then he was like, yeah, but... Yeah, and you could, s- and oh, and then he asked me, and then I started going on and on about how I feel like it's you know a different take on South African film, sure, yeah. authentic, but in its own way. And yeah. he literally just shut down or shut off, and he's like totally uninterested in what I had to say. And I was like, mm. okay, cool. I mean, he doesn't have to listen you have to your me. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and I think this and goes just walked off. This goes back to Fresh's thing about agenda, yeah, um, because. Imagine if he was the leading voice in film criticism. Man. All of a sudden, Madrid is a shit movie. Yeah. Because okay. this guy had an agenda and Yo. he couldn't really be open-minded enough to understand that the intention of a film. Yeah. But this is the guy who's writing film critics for years. You know yeah, what I mean? And then um, I'm glad you actually mentioned that because fast forward a week or two later, I come across his review on a reputable <sighs> And it's such a boring... So, yeah. Yeah. F- such and a boring, I correct. Him, like, he li- I thought, because uh, for a moment when he was saying that to me, mm. um, the sex scene, complaining about the sex scene, yeah. I thought he was literally joking or being an old man. Yeah, hey, hey, you know, like talking funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Banter, basically. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was just being like that. And then he literally included, complained about how the sex scene was not adequate for and in the actual proper review, written review in the newspaper, and I was like, written for families. Okay, what the fuck? Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then even how he explained it, you could tell that no, Linda Sassiashu would say it's not really gonna resonate with, with people you. who don't understand. Yeah, people. And, and that's said, yeah, and that's actually so important, man, because I think we're getting a bit caught up. Um, I remember Ava Duvernay, right? Yeah, sure. uh, got interviewed on the Breakfast Club, and um. Wrinkle in Time was getting bad reviews. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that. getting bad reviews. Like, yeah. oh, it's a bad review. And then, um, and I was like agreeing with the reviews, like, oh, people are saying it's bad. I'm, I don't want to watch it. People are saying it's bad, right? These are old grown-ups reviewing Wrinkle in Time. Mm, and then yeah. they said to her, "What do you? Th- why do you think people?" They asked Ava, "Why do you think that the movie is getting bad reviews?" And she said something so interesting, and it actually brought me back down to earth. She was like, um, "This movie's for children." <laughs> <laughs> like, Done. who the fuck are you? Yeah. Like, you yeah. a grown-ass man talking about the story? This, this, it's n- the movie's for kids. Yeah, it is. Ask your it kid really how it the movie was like, and, and I'm like, she has a good point. Yeah. Like, we're so obsessed with just like dissecting a film and then you forget that is this movie made for you like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I mean yeah. and then you actually sit back I'm like actually Wrinkle in Time isn't made for me <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's made for <laughs> children <laughs> maybe, I should, maybe I should just keep quiet or consider children when reviewing yeah, it when you know yeah. um, and I think she had a good point and I'm just like so is Wrinkle in Time a bad movie maybe it's not really maybe it's just that we just grown ups yeah. you know because yeah. if you take you your kids to watch a Wrinkle in Time you probably be like this movie's yeah, kind of dope you know you'll so see those flowers and that and th- light thing and it was such an important yet simple part which is like it's for children like relax you know and I think film critics need to relax because the more they resist yeah, yeah, with yeah. social media the more hectic social media gets um but i don't know how they will evolve because everybody's a critic man i'm on yeah. twitter everybody got something to say about something Everything. and it's dope yeah. i love it personally but if it kills film criticism ah, whatever bro it is what it i don't know it man the I don't, if, the, if the richest <laughs> film critic goes bankrupt because of no because of the social media then hey sorry bro like yeah i don't know i don't know how to sympathize with something that I think is good for film because it's 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 um 
there's a huge thing happening now where film has become less and less elite. Yeah. And I think this is also part of that. Yeah. Because these film critics were elite. There were yeah. these guys who come in and say, yo, better fucking impress me. You know what I mean? Because what <laughs> I have to ca- say... I'm going to write a bad review you and you're going to do what, badly. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But now a guy who's an elite film critic can say this movie was shit and social media can like, be like, fuck oh, you. What the fuck? <laughs> I like that movie. Yeah. And it's like, okay. But before there was no social media, he was, the, he was like a funnel. He was yeah. the guy you go yeah. to to find out if something is dope. Yeah. Now it's like 50 of y'all in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even get pages like man i don't know about this guy but i thought it was sh- this shit was dope yeah. right? like, <laughs> you know so i like that a lot man i'm here for it yeah. Ugh, man film critic can die man like i'll still review films because i'm passionate yeah. about sure, yeah. sure, sure. but if you if it's your bread and butter man tough shit i don't know what to say to you man as, <laughs> as, 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 it, as, it, as insensitive as that sounds man it's it's killing you and that's just the game like yeah but yeah man i don't know that's fine that's, that's, fine. Fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Logan. Everyone thought Logan was amazing. Yeah. And yeah. he hates and it. But he <laughs> hates it. I cannot yeah. stand so the movie. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> you see, with 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 Nganawa's case, it's he, he he's got a passion for film, so yeah. he will share his opinion. He's not trying to shift people's um no. how people view the film. He's just saying, man, I'm me. I just thought it was whack because he can explain why. He can yeah. say this is why it was whack. But Nganawa is not the voice of. Of a of film, it's not like people read the paper and say "Umana Uteni" or "Logan" before we go watch. Yeah, I'm talking about those people, yeah, those people where people look for them and say, "I wonder what this guy said." He he just feels that's just my opinion. I'm not saying that you must hate it. I'm just saying this is why I hated it. And he's sharing. It's just it's just part of him sharing his passion for film, yeah. and that's okay because we will do that. But uh, what I'm saying is, if you are a reputable voice and you don't know how to understand, you don't have an open mind to understand all types of film, then we have a problem. You yeah. know, that's what we're challenging. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, that basically that sense of being elite. Yeah. And I don't know, man. Like <laughs> we don't wear monarchies anymore. It's done. Guys. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to say this, but I will say it either way because this is what the show is for. Is <sighs> it ends up with most film critics? It ends up becoming about them. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know the making. Sense. It ends no, up becoming no. more about them and literally the standard they hold themselves to. Yeah, it's not a situation where, you, like you mentioned this uh, the last time we mentioned Woody. Um, obviously, if you if you judge he, he or King X, King's Speech and Project, yeah, mm-hmm. on 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 one merit on, on the merits of King's Speech, yeah, obviously Project is a who, trash. Who movie. comes off like a shit movie? Who comes yeah. off as a trash movie? Yeah. But Project X is actually one of the best movies I've ever watched it's in my entire life. Do you know life. what I mean? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. 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 So it's it's that I feel like there's always a stand a, a, um, a, a behavior of wanting to um, uphold that standard mm. of like you said I'm I'm the film critic here mm-hmm. I I know I know what I'm talking yeah. about this type of situation yeah. and that's what I've, that's what I've noticed actually with most the, the general majority of people. Hey man, they don't care about your subtext. Mm. They don't know what they subtext don't. is. <laughs> they don't care about your metaphors, y- yes. man. Was it nice? Did I feel good when I watched it? Yes. yes. If the answer is yes, dope. Ex- I like this. Exactly. Movie. Yeah. That's it. And 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 that's what I like about, for example, like the whole purpose of reviews on tab is to tackle that thing to say. Yeah. I'm I'm creating reviews for people who don't care about the layers of film. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. just we are introduced. We are literally because I've seen so many people watch reviews and say. I oh mean, I like that movie, but I never thought about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we're just, we are, we are aware. We're not, we're not coming off these pompous intellectuals. We're saying, I know that you're not you're paying attention, but tr- pay attention to this and you'll see why this makes sense. Yeah, and yeah, some yeah, people yeah. could be like, oh, I thought the movie was bad. But when you put it like that, yeah. kind of, it, opens, it, it opens a light to me. So we're kind of very mindful of the fact that we're explaining films to like the layman's person yeah, and yeah. and that's what that's what that for me is the future of film reviewing yeah, not trying yeah, to be yeah. the smartest guy in the room to say yeah. i know what you i know you liked it but can i explain what was kind of bad i mean th- that scene was sick but <laughs> yeah. there was something you know yeah, and you know and uh, just balancing it out and that's why i love jeremy so much he does yeah. that a lot yeah, where he's yeah. like man yeah. this movie was garbage but jesus i had the time of my life watching <laughs> yeah, this yeah, shit, yeah, you know exactly. <laughs> yeah so and yeah that's, that's this, guy, cool. this reminds me of like maybe like how m- it was like almost almost 10 years ago mm. um so me and my cousin were watching fight club he was watching it for the first time yeah. okay. and i put it on he's not a movie fan at all <laughs> but he was stuck there some he was stuck at my place and he couldn't get out for some reason so he ended up watching the movie sure 
And even when he did get the opportunity to bounce, he didn't. He stayed, and he was having the time of his life. Like, man, and when the dope. movie came to an end, he was like, yo, man, I like that movie. Yeah. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Fast forward to, like, even years later, every time I hook up with him, he's always like, yo, man, what's the name of that movie? Gone the way they were fighting. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, fight clubs. Like, yeah, it's a movie. Yeah. And every time I try to get why he liked the movie, it's not for the same reasons as me. Mm. It's not for what fight club mm. means. The or psychology. Whatever. No, it's literally because it was just nice to mm. watch. It's like, man, yeah, it yeah. Just, it I just didn't want to stop watching yeah, it, man. Yeah, There's exactly. something happening here that I'm interested in. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when I actually realized, oh... It, it's Sometimes, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's not just it can't just be one thing. Yeah, it can mm-hmm. be a lot of things to many people, and you have to be open to to mm-hmm. that, to seeing it from that perspective. Yeah, definitely, bro. Yeah, one of there's a writer um, on some documentary I was watching. I forgot his name. Ati, he once wrote a movie, ne? Uh, uh, wide release and all this stuff, and then the movie like they everyone shat on it. Like, everyone shat on it. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, ne? Yeah. And he said like this this girl and her mother watched it and then they were the only two people who liked it and then he said to himself you know what maybe i wrote that movie just for them <laughs> yeah. just for them so yeah. b- there are those things because like, be, uh, and uh, and because if you if you write a movie that comes from like your personal from in like if you write an authentic movie that's true to you yeah. there's always someone who's gonna like it yes no matter exactly. what you know what i mean so mm. it's just, it's like how we get 100 views of our, for for <laughs> 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 you know like we get a hundred views for <laughs> for our reviews, right? But I I, I don't get upset. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's hey hundred that's a hundred motherfuckers who, who look at me and be like, any men's I like, get that man. Uh, that for me is is pretty dope, and that's the reason why I made that show because it's like a niche show. I'm more, film is niche, so yeah. if there's a hundred people who watch it, hey man, that's hey cool man, with me, that's man. Good, man. Yeah, I, I fuck with that hundred, and I'll resp- you know what I mean. Just less people to respond to, and yeah. it's been. <laughs> <many times>. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's something I do appreciate. I think that's a good mentality to have because when you make movies for yourself. Yeah. It doesn't hurt as much when you when it doesn't do when it does badly, yeah. um, because you're you just like man. But I felt it felt right to me. I and liked I did it. what I was doing, you yeah. know. And mm. some and, and usually those movies age very well. Like yeah. Fight Club yeah. didn't do well when it dropped at all. It, it was tanked by fucking ten things it, I heard about it, too. It tanked, but after like ten years, people are like, hey man, yeah, this movie kind of classic. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. crazy, yeah. you know That's what I mean? <laughs> so <laughs> movies that are like that usually age very well for yeah. me. But it's just it's just a longer road. But yeah, man, like with with me, I feel like. Almost as is with anything in life. First of all, adapt. Yeah. First things first is adapt. Yeah. You can't sit and complain. And fight. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, the people on the internet. Everybody yeah. thinks that things aren't the same. That anymore. will always yeah. happen. Yeah. People will always think they. That's n- that's not something for you to sit and complain about. Yeah. You know what's the difference between now and then? Is that now this big glass wall that was there that yeah. was blocking you from these other people it's has gone. now been shattered yeah. Yeah. by. Technology. Yes. Technology. Yeah. So now they had these opinions all along. Yeah. But now they can just share them. That's yeah. What. Exactly. Back then it was just you. Yeah. You like you got you and your spot. mom. Hey Kai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got that spot. You got that job, or you got those connections, and you were able to be, or you went to school. Yeah. And and all that stuff, and you were able to share your opinion on a platform that it has you what's this gives you access to a lot of people yeah, yes. yeah 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 and that was the time there was a time but then times change maybe like you said maybe i don't know call the boom mic or something maybe <laughs> <laughs> and uh, quit yeah or buy a camera and jobs are obsolete review yeah. online do something yeah. instead of just sitting and because com- we can't we can't go back to film yeah, and should, only no. being on yeah. newspapers it'll never happen uh, in a specific section yeah, well. so yeah. yeah i mean at the end of the day that's m- the most important thing is adapt Number two, a eh, maybe st- also stop being too snobbish unnecessarily. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I don't yeah. mind if you're snobbish, and that's literally just how you you feel or how you how you maintain. That's how you feel about them. Like you said, if it's your honest opinion, but if you're now trying to live up to a certain image you have put up, up about yourself, I mean, I'm known to like man. If it's boring, it's boring. If yeah, it's nice, it's, it's nice, nice. nice. Can you just get to that? Yeah. And if you can feel it's not made for you, it's not made for it's you. It's not made for you. Yeah. Yeah. Move and on. I know there are a lot of people who honestly, like, they can't stand, for example, superhero films. And they can't stand them because they genuinely cannot. They mm. can't it's not my identify. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But if you can, just because they are the lesser serious movies in existence, mm. don't just do that for the sake of appearing to be like that. With mm. no, I mean, I, these movies, these are the movies that I take seriously, etc., yeah. etc. Et like, man, it's if it's a movie, it's a movie then just maybe just be a bit honest yeah. that's all yeah cool sure cool
cool, man. Fresh. <laughs> uh, stopping dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a dick. <laughs> That's all I can say Just right enjoy. now. Enjoy. <laughs> Don't go out of your way to. Yeah, to hate something, man. Don't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if you follow me, um, I once tweeted something that like we need to rethink this thing of calling everything horrible. Maybe yeah. just say it's not for me. Maybe just say, okay, maybe this was for, or maybe just say, yeah, this time. Uh, but like, maybe, yeah, but maybe just put a lot of things into consideration when you approach everything. Yeah, especially in the, the art world, that sometimes a person is either person is trying to sell, other person is trying to sell popcorn, or either person is trying to sh- give a message out, or other person is just trying to express what they're feeling or a person you just want to tra- tell a story basic story yeah just think about all those things to a story about like personally i've never you're gonna yeah you're gonna be surprised I, I don't really watch that many bollywood movies and i don't really know that maybe there's a certain approach and a certain way in the in way in which things are done but i won't sit down now and watch um let me think of a name. Okay, I can't think of a name. And be like, I have bought a left in, but I don't even know the culture with what's going on mm. or whatever. So maybe just think about those things. And again, don't be a dick. <laughs> Done. <laughs> cool, man. Um, yeah, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, yeah. uh, share your thoughts. Please share your thoughts. And let's, let's just, we'll, 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 we do respond to comments. So yeah, share your thoughts, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Drop your quotes. And drop your um, quotes. What? Yeah. yeah, guess the movie. Yeah, guess the we'll movie. We'll yeah. win. I don't know. <laughs> Data. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. It's reviews on type episode three. It's a wrap. Peace.